As a curator for the Natural History Museum in Stuttgart, I was in charge of organizing a large exhibition for the Darwin year in 2009. This Darwin year was the 200th birthday of Charles Darwin and the 105th anniversary of the publication of his Origin of Species. And in this exhibition, we also wanted to discuss criticism of Darwin. And I wanted to, in a way, make fun of the critics by showing a large medieval wooden balance. And on one side of the balance, I wanted to put a large pile of books by Darwin critics, by creationists and intelligent design proponents. And on the other side of the balance, I wanted to put just two books by Charles Darwin. And of course, the balance then would go down on Darwin's side because he had as the heavy weighted arguments and all the arguments by the critics are nonsense and are light weighted. And for this exhibition, I had to buy the books from Amazon. And during the preparations for the exhibition, I had them stored in my office. And one day I thought, well, maybe I should have a look into these books to be prepared for questions. And to my big surprise, I found that in the intelligent design books, there were really scientific arguments, not religious arguments against Darwinism. And I found these arguments quite convincing and surprising and not easy to address. And so I explored these questions further. And the more I explored the question, the more I discovered that these arguments have merit. And I more and more became a Darwin critic and an intelligent design proponent myself. And if you want to learn more about some of the arguments, especially of the fossil record, uh, that show that there are problems with Darwinism and evidence that rather points to intelligent design, then please join my webinar.